Hey yo guys, we're back for episode number six of Pokemon Heart Gold Shady Lock. I'm Doc Cloud, and I'll be the host. In the last episode, we beat the second gym. If you guys want to go check that out, it went up yesterday, and it will likely be in the playlist down below. Uh, but we are here to get an encounter that we pretty much skipped out on until now. And then I'll update you on a future or a current thing, as well as a future rule I'm going to be implementing after this encounter happens. Okay. Um, I really don't want to stay in against a weasel. Um... You know, I honestly doubt Buizel even has like a water type move right now. Alright, I'm gonna switch into Bean because he's kind of an all arounder. And I honestly doubt this Buizel is gonna be that hard to catch. Also, just for the sake of it, um, I looked at the Mag we caught in the last episode, and it has soundproof, which is kind of fun. It's like obviously gonna change once it evolves. And we probably won't use it like until it evolves because I don't really want a baby mod on the team. Same reason why I don't have a Cleffa or a Mime Jr. Or currently I don't have a Fairy. Hey Google, turn the lights on. I like my blue tint. It's a vibe. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you. Alright, um, I'm gonna pull up a name from someone who commented on the most recent episode of Xenoverse that went- that came out. I just want to find their name real quick. You know, I saw them. And I'm also gonna comment back to them at the same time, so it's kind of like a twofer here. Listen, YouTube, you are loading so slow. And I can't see it. Damn. I'm gonna have to give them another encounter. Because YouTube's being done. Oh, wait, no, it loaded. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have to, like, really, like, look at their name while I type this. Uh, because they spelled it differently than how it's actually spelled. Um, the name is Kryptonite. Except it's like, rip tonight. Like, almost like if you were a child and you tried to spell it out phonetically. That's what it looks like. Like, you're trying to teach someone how to spell the word before you teach them how to actually spell the word, you know? You teach them how to say the word. Yeah. I appreciate your subscription to the channel, and I'm sorry if I offended you by um, talking about your name. Just answering them back, you know. <clears throat> okay, so now I can update you on the other thing. So, you guys can obviously have them gate or Bayleaf on the team. I, I taught him cut. Um, the thing is about that is because I had a box, I boxed Haunter, and because I box him, they heal in the PC. And that'd essentially be like a free heal if I just pulled him right back out. So what I'm going to do is, is I can't pull out Haunter until I use another token and heal the rest of the team. Because then it's like the rest of the team's healed anyways. So I don't have Haunter for right now. And I don't know when that's going to change either. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. They wanted me to get baby Pokemon so bad in this game. What? What is going on with that? It's gonna take me so much time to evolve all those Pokemon. I might activate a repel. This is gonna be really annoying to seeing babies all the time. I can't even get good experience off the babies. 
And I kind of need to save my PP anyways for um, trainers, because I know there are quite a few up here ahead. And I really want to be able to run. Walking through the forest is just terrible. Pam Traberry. I don't know if I said that right. I also got a Han Hondu berry uh, in the last episode. Power anklet. I'm selling that for money. It might actually be worth like something else, but um, I am a generic slob, so I don't know that. Oh, space mail. Wow, I got air mail in another episode. Now I got space mail. Wow. I'm just sending mail through the whole universe. Got him. I actually really would have loved um, a Doduo. Doduo with Drizzle, maybe not so much. Dodrio with huge power? Yes, please sign me up. I know that's not what it was, but it's, you know. Um, that actually discourages Pokemon encounters, doesn't it? Yep, sure does. I will be using that. Let's see how serious that is, whenever it says, like, Pokemon will be repelled. Does this guy give me a TM, or does he, like, oh, is he just a move tutor? Sorry, I thought he walked up to me. Oh, cool. Shaking trees using head, but it's fun here. Try it too. Okay. Um. Ooh. Hello. Um. Hang on. I'm pretty sure you can only teach this once. Um, and I'm, he can teach me a leaf blade. I I really want to strategically use this. It actually might be a play on Hypno, to be honest. Like, yeah, Amazon Physical Attack is, like, great. Um, but I feel like he's gonna... It, what is he hitting with Leaf Blade again that's gonna... That I'm gonna be sending him into? Because I'm not sending him into a Water-type. But I would send Hypno into a Water-type. So you almost have the same... That's crazy. Um, you already have Grass-type moves, you don't really need it. You don't need it at all. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna teach it to Hypno, honestly. Hypno Leaf Blade, you know? That sounds pretty cool, actually. Give him, like, a really good advantage over, you know, rock and ground and water. So, we'll just go ahead and get rid of Pound. Unfortunately, we lose a big PP move there, but I think it's worth it. Because he gives me more coverage. <sighs> I might have like bit myself in the butt there. Oh, side thing I realized. I can also get an Azalea Town encounter um, because Hypno is headbutt. And I tested out to see if the uh, encounters were randomized uh, whenever I was in Violet City. And they are. Unless Sand Slashes um, live in trees, but. I kind of doubt it. Later, Glyscore. I hate how they make me wait for him to fly back. It's like, calm down, calm down. I, I think I can do this. Fluffa, I need, I need, I need you to not be there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Give me that bright powder. Oh, baby. Let's go. There's nothing there. I wonder if my black flute's still working. Feels like it is. Alright, let's go ahead and get this TM from this lady. See. see. Is that actually taunt? Heal order. 
Does that only work in like double battles? Like I know it's a um Vespa Queen move, but I don't know exactly how that move works. But if it's like um a recovery move that I can teach to either Hypno or um Lyscore, that would be sick. I'm pretty sure Hypno learns hypnosis though. So I might not really need it. I'm just gonna try to walk around these guys. I don't really want to deal with them right now. I actually really want to get my encounter. I'll look it up probably between episodes or maybe right now, depending on how things go. Um, uh, what heal order really does. Same with um, fossils. Dun dun dun. I just want to know how those work. Alright, let's try out this leaf blade. Oh my gosh, am I gonna one-shot this Squirtle? Yeah, boy. Leaf blade on a Hypno. Great. Bill Sprout. Seems like a good thing for Bean to fight. It's going to be really good once uh, uh, Lyscor has some stab moves, but right now he doesn't have a single stab move, which is a little bit awkward. And I don't actually know if he learns anything either while we're uh, while we're on the subject, I guess. Here's another thing I kind of need to look up and check out. I know he learned Quick Attack, but like, does he really learn anything good, I guess, would be the question, you know? Alright. So I'm battling this kid too. Bet I can probably. Yep, sure can. Ooh, handy dandy shelter. If only I had a switch in for that. Good old grit. Good old, um. You know, that move. Uh, Leaf Blade. Don't mind me, I'm just looking up Glyscore's level up moveset. Ooh, Defense Rose. Maybe you get this crit. Oh, I actually got it. <laughs> nice. Uh, ooh, Glyscore learns all the fangs. So Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang. He learns all of them by uh, Move Relearner. But he doesn't learn a single stab move. Except for technically sand attack. Wow. That's just kind of sad. Like he learns like Night Slash and X Scissor, which are great moves, and he learns U Turn naturally. But to not learn a single stab move feels a little bit ridiculous. Like, why even make him a ground type then? Just make him a dark type if you want to swing home that dark typing so much. Seriously. If you learn to knock off uh, Feign Attack and Night Slash, just make him a dark type then if it's so important to you. That's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. I was kind of hoping he I could give him Earthquake, but probably not. Or maybe like Aerial Ace would have been cool. Okay, here comes Lyra. Lyra. Uh, I'm trying to remember the other things I wanted to check. I know I wanted to check the fossil. Um, there was something else. Like it's it's like right at the edge of my memory, and I I can't remember what it was. Where to Reeve Nope. Reeve five fossils in 
aren't gold. Okay, so you can't revive them until, um, Kanto. So, I'm very likely to use that fossil I have as a token encounter rather than waiting for Pewter. Because I still don't really know if I'm going to go into Kanto. Kind of depends on how long the series is running. Okay, they're they're kind of annoying me at this point. Uh, so I got Gliscor, Gliscor's thing. I I literally can't remember what the other thing I wanted to look up was. It, it's like not coming to me at all. Bro, I need you to like stop. Please stop talking. Like I'm I'm trying to do stuff. Man, I knew I should have looked that up first. I thought he only fought me at night. Maybe that's just in the uh, the original games. Shield on. Man, if only I had a ground type move to attack this thing. Uh... So, Bean. It's making me like upset. Like I, I, I can't think of what the other thing was. Yeah, I kind of was. I kind of thought that. I'll switch out in grit and just go for the uh, good old, good old, good old attack that I can't remember what it's called. Leaf blade got it. Man, what is that other thing I was gonna do? It makes me so upset when I can't remember stuff like that. Because I, I... It's just like, brain, get it together. Come on. I just can't. I just can't. I, I literally have nothing. I'm just gonna keep trying, like, I... I don't understand why I can't remember this. I was like, alright, here we go, forefront of my mind, here we go, here we go, and it's gone. I remember got it I knew it had something to do with like the last like five minutes or something of the game got it just how heal order works Okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's exactly what it... Okay. Huh. Okay. That's a pretty great move, if I'm being real. Especially if I can like buy it in like the marked and stuff. Then that's gonna be a really good move. It's just straight up like a half HP recovery move. Like uh I think soft boils like that. 
but its signature to... Wow, there's all water types here. But its signature to... Man, what is its name? Vespa Queen. But yeah, that's the like only thing that is really special about it, is that its signature to Vespa Queen. Alright, run on past there. I'm going like straight up here. I want Kenya. Yep, yep, yep. I want it. I want it. Oh. Okay, so I can't get Kenya until I drop something off in the PC. And I can't drop something in the PC. So I'm assuming those Pikachu noises noises were audible. Um, so I have a Pikachu bank that sits on my desk, and my um, cat. My cat has recently figured out how to press the button for it, and she does it whenever she gets bored. So, sometimes there's... Sometimes, in like, in the middle of the night... Sometimes in the middle of the night, I just hear... Pika! Pikachu! And it's like, great. Great, great, great. I'm glad, I'm glad you're in the mood, um, for, uh, for Pikachu. Yeah. That, that's, uh, that's how that goes. That's how my everyday is. She likes it at night a lot. Like, a real lot. So like whenever I hear it first time, it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a couple minutes to see if she does it again and wakes me up before I commit to trying to go back to sleep. Because it's such like an unsettling noise whenever you hear it, it's like uh Yammers. Thank you. It's such an unsettling noise because like you're not hearing the Pikachu noise in the middle of the night most of the time. So you're just like not prepared for it at all. Okay, don't really need to go over there. I'm just gonna go right here. Uh, can this lady do the like the lotto? This lady do the lotto? Yeah. Let me get that master ball real quick, hold on. Nope. All right, so let me just answer these questions real quick. Get Whitney to run back to where she needs to be. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, yep, yep, yep. No, no, yes. Wait, what? Yes, yes, no. Uh, yes. And no. Boom, Pokemon Master, let's do it. And now I can awaken Snorlaxes. I don't think there's much other reason to get that. Although I think you have to get it in this game, but I don't think in the uh, older game you had to get it. I remember in this game though, um, once you have access to the unknown, I went out and like caught all of them and had just like a box of them. It was so annoying to get all 28 of them. Because you have to like do all of the puzzles too. Okay, I don't care about this blue card. I'm trying to tell a story about how I caught unknowns. I don't, I don't even remember how you unlocked the last two actually. Because the last two are exclamation point and question mark. And 
I wonder if it's that you had to catch all the other ones. Hmm. I really don't remember, if I'm being honest. Uh huh. Okay, so I got the coin case, great. Abra, Ekans, Dratini. I imagine that those aren't what they are, you know? Substitute, Sword Stance, Flamethrower. Once again, I imagine those aren't what they are. Check what they can what I can all get in here anyways, because I don't really remember. Also, I don't know if there's like a secondary mark guy here who might give me something more too. Um, I don't really want the power anklet at all. I'm very tempted to sell these mulches. But I'll hold on to them for right now. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what's a Ganlon Berry? Hmm. Raise defense, not bad. That's like a full heal, that's actually really good. Uh, Shell Bell is also not... Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can buy an experience, sure. Mm hmm I can also buy Quick Balls, which is very nice. That only works on Ditto. I actually kind of want the Shell Bell. I'm gonna pass on it for right now, though. I don't really need the experience share either, though, for that fact. Um, I'm by a light ball and a firestone. A light ball is literally worth a hundred. I could have a really good Pikachu for a hundred dollars. Isn't there a store that, uh, our level that's supposed to be, like, just medicine, though? Like, is that the one that got randomized? I can buy lava cookies, that's actually even better. Ooh, I can buy heart scales! And I can buy an old amber, which might be another encounter for me. Just the fact that I can buy heart scales, though, for 100 means that I can have my Pokémon relearn moves without any issues once I get a Blackthorn. It's actually really good for me. Randomizing Marts is just sometimes like too good, I feel like. Um, I can also buy the Magmarizer, so that means I might be able to evolve Magby a little bit earlier than what I would normally be able to. Because I think if I just have Magmar hold the Magmarizer, then you should evolve into Magmortar. Okay. Um, that's Bubble Beam. I've already had that. Uh, Toxic Spikes. Helping Hand. Yawn. Uh, Hammer Arm. Ooh, Hello Psychic. <clears throat> U-turn, let's go. Uh, swallow. Leech seed, not bad. Ow! So yeah, uh, this is Mercy. End of the episode, uh, I guess, fun reveal there. She's the one who likes to play with the um, Pikachu box. And she also has a shoulder cap. Uh, it was a rainbow beam. That's a roar beam. Defense all the muscles and spotty to raise its defense stat. Is that just like defense curl? It's a weird description. There are a lot of good moves here. Psychic's literally only 2,000. Hammer arms are a really good move too. 
Um, I think like for right now there isn't anything crazy that I really want. Like too, too crazy. Hey, Merce. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode and help her down because I don't think she knows how to get down. So I'll catch you guys in the next one and we'll probably um, training up for Whitney. So bye guys.